I was a comic book fan in that era, and the Joker was my favorite. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? What? I always ask that of all my prey. I just like the sound of it. You know, I mean, even before I got involved with the project, people were talking about Jack Nicholson to me. Yeah. So the great thing about Jack is he can fulfill everybody's expectation and still go way beyond that. Freak. Terrorizes. Wait till they get a load of me. No one had worked on mask in the movies in a very long time. And of all characters to whom these ideas might apply, just academically, the Joker is one of them. I've got to give him a ridiculous smile, I've got to paint him white, I've got to give him green hair, but I mustn't dilute Jack Nicholson at all. And that was really the hard part of the brief. He did have the final say. I didn't want this to go through the normal, let's brighten it up for the kids. I'm glad you did. <laughs> To this day, I always took this performance more seriously than probably anybody in the world. I knew my part for many reasons was there in spades. And where is the Batman? But, you know, I was as entertained as almost the rest of the audience by what he did elsewhere that I wasn't involved in. He caught the spirit. See, so it's that balance of Grand Guignol and understanding the difference between being really bad and being really bad. You know what I mean? It's just, it, it, we hit the right flavor. They were totally unprepared for the level of the success of it.